Despite being one of the smallest neighborhoods in New York City, the South Street Seaport has some of its best food. And today we're gonna to be trying as much of it as we can. Our first stop today is Cafe Fatoro, where they have some of the best pone de queijo in the entire city. So we'll definitely have to grab a few of those. Maybe we'll pick up a little something extra if it jumps out at us, but we've got a long day of eating ahead of us, so we've got to pace ourselves. So we got a pesto and prosciutto PDQ, and we got an everything PDQ. I'm so excited to try both of them. Let's start with the sandwich. Wow, it has like jam, which I wasn't expecting. So delicious. All the flavors with like the sweet jam and the salty prosciutto on that PDQ, heavenly. All right, let's try this everything PDQ. Just like, look at how amazing that looks. Apparently it's made with tapioca starch, so it's entirely gluten-free. And you wouldn't even know it because it's delicious. Honestly, I think I prefer a plain PDQ better because I like tasting like that tapioca and the flavor of the cheese bread. This to me, I just taste that everything flavor, which I feel like takes away from it, but still really good. You're probably wondering why we didn't get coffee at Cafe Pitoro, and that's because we're going to one of the cutest coffee shops in the city, just a couple blocks away, tucked into the back of the McNally Jackson bookstore. The bookstore has only been here since 2019, but the building dates back to 1811. There are supposedly more than 65,000 books here, and their cafe is the perfect place to enjoy a good book and delicious latte. Or come in the evening when it transforms into a wine bar. We wanted to try one more breakfast spot. This is Double Yolk in the Tin Building. The Tin Building opened in 2022 with a bunch of interesting culinary experiences. There are bars, restaurants, and even a high-end grocery market, all curated by chef Jean Georges, who has a two Michelin-starred restaurant in the city and is the chef behind possibly the best meal we've ever had in New York, The Mark. So we decided to try this sandwich from Double Yolk. It is eggs on a brioche bun, which is super soft, and bacon, guac, and salsa. Let's give it a try. Look how massive this thing is. I was not expecting it to be this big. Wow, it's delicious. The eggs are cooked perfectly. Not too runny, but also not too overdone. Love the bread. The bacon and guac, literally I can have guac on anything and it would be amazing. It's really good. I like it. I think I'd prefer the PDQ just because that's so different. Like that PDQ with the tapioca starch and the texture, I think is unbelievable, but this is still good. Next up, we're gonna try the most famous restaurant in the Tin Building. We figured we better give it a go over here. It's a Chinese like speakeasy, so we'll show you how to get in. First off, I just wanted to say that this place has been incredible so far. I'm obsessed with the decor. It's beautiful. And the service has just been spectacular. As soon as we sat down, they came over with lemongrass towelettes and we just got served their ginger lime homemade soda. Wow, that's so refreshing. And it's not super sweet. It kind of tastes like ginger beer, but better. So they just dropped off this duck. It looks delicious. They also gave us 10 buns. So we're gonna have to eat five each, I guess. I'm gonna try the duck on its own first with some of the sauce, which looks to die for. And then I'll try to put it on one of those buns and see how that is as well. 
Okay, a little bit of sauce, a little bit of duck. It looks so good. This is also a lot of food. I'm really glad that we're sharing this. I don't know how you would order this for one person. That'd be a lot. Holy smokes. I don't know if that's a sauce or like the outside of the duck, but it's almost like chocolatey. It's got the perfect amount of crunch. Wow, that is incredible. All right, let's try it with one of these buns now. These are steaming hot. So I'll do a little bit of the sauce. Wow. I didn't think it could get any better, but the bun adds a whole, it just brings it up to a whole other level. Our waiter recommended we try their homemade chili sauce, which looks really good. It's the sauce that came with is sweet and that one's spicy. So I'm gonna make a whole nother bun. And instead of putting the original sauce on, I'm gonna put on that chili oil. And I'm curious to see which one I like better. So I'll get a little bit of this chili oil. I don't know how much to put on. I hope it's not gonna be super spicy. <laughs> Let's give it a go. I can't get over how good these buns are though. They're like so squishy. Mm. It's really not spicy at all. I like that one better, but this one is more of like a savory flavor with the meat. That one you kind of taste more of like the natural duck. I think it accentuates the meat flavor. Or is this one like, is a really good compliment and it's a really unique type of taste. So I don't know, both are delicious. House of the Red Pearl was incredible. Honestly, everything we ate in the tin building was so good. We'd love to come back and do a whole video on the tin building. If that's something that you'd be interested in, let us know. But now we're headed to our next spot. We're passing Funny Face Bakery and the cookies in the window look beautiful. So we just have to go in and check it out. We always have room for a cookie, right? <laughs> I cannot wait to try this cookie. It looks so good. Let's see it. It's warm and gooey. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at all that chocolate. That's a die for. Wow. That is really good. Right there, funny face. Funny Face Bakery is more known for their face cookies. They have absolutely beautiful sugar cookies with designs on them of like New York City, Will You Be My Bridesmaid, all these different things. But the chocolate chip cookies smelled so good in there. We had to try one and it is not disappointing. The cookie is warmed up. It's super gooey. I mean, look at all that chocolate. Just heavenly. No New York City food tour is complete without pizza. And the South Street Seaport has some amazing spots, but our favorite is Keste. It's been named one of the best pizzerias in the world. So we never miss an opportunity to come here. We just got our pizza and I already know I'm gonna love it. This is hands down my favorite pizza place in the city. We've been here like a million times. We got the Diabola, which is one of our favorites. It's um, just really margarita pizza with this hot soppressetta on top and some basil. So good. Usually when we do these food tours, we try new places and it's tough because since we've been here, like I already know it's amazing, but can't miss the opportunity. I am so excited to dig in. Literally never disappoints. The ingredients are just so fresh. Really the best pizza I've ever had. We've got just one more spot to go. We're gonna head to a convenience store for a little nightcap. It is so cute in here. The vibes are great. It's like dark and moody. I love the wallpaper and the decor. It's just so homey, great way to end the night. It's so funny too because our waiter came over and he asked for our drinks and he's like, if you want any snacks, feel free to go to the convenience store in the front and bring them back and we'll like plate it for you. So I feel like it'd be so cute to like have some peanuts or like a pint of Ben and & Jerry's and drink our cocktails. I'm way too full for that, but 
This is a great way to end the night. I'm excited to just kick back and relax. What a perfect way to end the day. We really hope you enjoyed tagging along. If you did, please make sure to give us a like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing. See you in the next one.